So what I'm going to show you now is how to do soft selection on Maya to create really lovely curves. Soft selection in Maya is very, very useful. Now I'm going to use these two planes here to give you a good idea of what it does. So in normal selection, when I select a vertex and I manipulate it, I change it, you're only dealing with that one particular vertex any faces and edges attached to it, but that is it. Everything else stays in the same shape, in the same position. Doesn't matter what you do, it's just not really gonna impact on anything around it. Say, same with, if we say select an edge, and we rotate that edge, we're only really impacting on the things that it's immediately connected to. We get a slight alteration to these, but then they are attached to that edge, so they're going to be impacted by it. Um, same with resizing things. So if I select face and I decide to resize this face, now it affects the face and then it only really kind of bunches up the ones next to it because it, it's either contracting or expanding the lines next to it. But that's about it. That's all it tends to do. It just tends to impact these immediate areas. Um, by contrast, let's have a good look at soft selection. So I'm going to go into vertex again. I'm going to select my movement tool. And this time when I press B and now I've got my soft select, the yellow is going to be altered a lot. So what happens is the we get what's known as a drop off from yellow to orange to red to black and then outside of that. It basically means that it's going to kind of knock on to all the ones in that area in this kind of drop off area. We can make the drop off bigger or smaller by holding down B and then pulling our mouse side to side with the middle mouse button held. I'm going to make quite a small drop off on that one and I'm going to pull it up and you can see the difference straight away. Instead of a sharp spire, what we have is a smooth curve, kind of like a bell curve. And that's because the vertex in the middle has been selected. The soft selection kind of cascades downwards to the outside and anything within that area is going to be impacted. And whatever I do to it now is going to impact everything around it to some extent. So we can get these really nice smooth curves. And again, same if we actually do edges, I'll select an edge here. And then I'm going to actually change to rotation now. And I'm going to rotate this edge. And you can see it's not just impacting the one right next to it. It's actually knocking on all the way down to the edge of our drop off creating a very different effect compared to this one here that creates a very sharp hole almost on one side a sharp indent this one makes more of a curved process and again if i go over here and do faces i'm going to select this face i'm going to click on obviously uh, the scaling tool and as you can see here when i'm at impacting it's pulling it, the impact is a lot further outwards until it finally drops off. So it is an absolutely fantastic little tool to use. As I said, I can show you here again, if I pull this face all the way up or extend the actual size of my radius and pull that up as well, you can see it's actually pulling these ones up with it that have already been shaped, creating a very interesting effect because of it. And again, I can scale it while it's up there. See, uh, rotate it. And then if I really wanted to, getting a nice little effect here, actually, through doing this. And then, of course, we can scale it. In fact, I've somehow purely by accident created an almost sort of wave effect with this one, which is rather nice. And um, honestly, it's very, very useful, uh, say, if you want to make something look very organic, because organic things aren't sharp. They're more smooth. And obviously, if I were to, after I'm done with this, say, see what it would look like all smoothed out with the number three. It's very, very um, interesting shape that's been created there. So that is the soft selection tool in Maya. It is really, really useful. There's no way about it for creating a more 
uh, curved effect, a lot smoother effect on anything that you're creating.